This problem is example number 281 um, from our textbook row. The figure shows the experimentally observed forced deflection curve of a composite structure. And we like to find the hysteric damping constant, the logarithmic decrement, and the equivalent viscous damping ratio corresponding to this curve. First, let's look at the loop. And we know that the area enclosed within the hysteretic loop is the energy dissipated. This is this area right here. And we will get that approximation of that area by counting the squares that are enclosed. What I'm going to do is count the little squares. And I counted 22 full squares and about 22 non-full squares. As an average, I will take the non-full square as a half of them because there are some that are more than a half and some that are less than a half. So those 22, I will then divide it by 2, and those are about 11 squares. So in total, I have 33 squares, and the, each square is 100 newtons, times one millimeter. My total dissipated energy is equals to 3.3 newtons per meter. The dissipated energy can also be calculated using the properties of the system, which is pi k beta maximum displacement square. The maximum displacement, or which is the maximum deflection of the system, you can also read it from the graph and it will be the top tip or the bottom tip of our hysteretic loop and as you see we can read that value and it's 4.3 millimeters or 4.3 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. The slope of the hysteretic loop gave us the constant of the equivalent spring. And that will be equal to, I will draw this line over here. And this line gives me that if I read a value, I can read any value, right, to read the slope in one of the squares, that is 500 newtons and two millimeters, right? And the other point is zero. So my slope is 500 newtons over two millimeters, which is the same as 500 newtons divided by two times 10 to the negative three, which is 2.5 times 10 to the five newtons over meters. Now that we have all the parameters, we can solve the equation for beta, which is the hysteretic damping constant. So beta will be equals to the dissipated energy divided by pi, the constant of the spring, and the maximum deflection square. I will plug on the values. This is 3.3 divided by pi, 2.5 to the fifth, and it's placement 4.3 times to the negative 3. And beta gives me a value of 0 0.2272. Now I can find the logarithmic decrement, which is equals to pi beta. And that gives me a value of 0 0.7139. And I can also find the damping ratio. The damping ratio is equal to beta half. And that damping ratio is an 
equivalent damping ratio to a viscous damping system. And that will be equals to 0 0.1136.